let's conceptualize how the Euler sampler works in the latent space. Now, this is an optimization, meaning that it's going to try and guide ourselves into the optimal place to generate our image along the way based on things like, for instance, the minimum or the maximum, whatever we're trying to optimize on. Now, based on our prompt, we're going to have all the possible variations that we can, and these are different little, just tiny little variations in this ribbon. Now, you can think of that ribbon here, and I've represented it three-dimensionally in this manifold here, but this is, this is way more dimensional, more than just this alone, and we're going to even compress it further with two-dimensional space here that I've represented. We start by drawing our random number. We get our start position and draw a sample of images from this curve to start figuring out where we want to go. Now, different seed, different position, different sample of images would lead to a different final image. But without really knowing where to go, we're, we'll just average it and we'll take a step in that direction. And then we'll re-evaluate it and then we'll change. We'll get a new sample based upon our read of it. And we will repeat this process. And I'm going to speed it up so we get there quicker. And there you go, our final image, a mutant bearded dragon. Sometimes when you're moving through the latent space, you average images together and you get extra limbs and appendages.